Hi, George. Hi. This is for Cliff, hey, we found a can. Oh, you give it to Cliff. Thank you yeah. so much. Nice to see you, George. Yeah, nice Cl you. Cliff, here's a can. We found it at the... At the station. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Figured, figured you make a couple extra cents. Well, that's it. Because we found two before I started my shift in the garbage can. We just picked one up on the road, and now you give us that four. Yeah. So we're doing really good. And then don't you got a, don't you got a crap load of bottles uh, that you're whatever in Airdrie she said she's got a whole bunch uh, yeah that's right how are you doing today oh this bus is great can't complain this bus I got three so cool, once I got three cool cushions so I got some news for you what's that? a couple 78s had to retire early oh okay which ones uh, 80, uh, 78, 83, 7805, and another one. Oh, okay. The engine caught fire. Oh, really? This was a couple years ago, 17 Avenue. The flames were pouring out of it. Wow. A couple 77s had to retire early because of that, too. Oh, okay. 51 and 15. Wow. Man, I hear um, Calgary Transit still has 7,800. Have you driven that one? Uh, yes, I have. 7,800. I hope they change the schedules and move some of them to VP. That would be nice. I want to ride on 7,800. Right. 7801 as well as 7901 it's probably with them at Anderson. Right. Boy is this nice to drive. Wow. No oil leaks? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I didn't actually check but the driver before me didn't mention any and he's supposed to do a walk around before he takes over the back of the garage. But uh, the steering is perfect. The brakes are beautiful. Pickup is ever so slightly, a little slower than what I might like, but on this route it's okay. Hey, we're taking an extra long ride with you. Okay, until 8 o'clock tonight? Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> you won't believe what time I got home last night. I got home at like 7. Okay. Early. And no football game. Because of Thanksgiving. Right. They did the two games on Thanksgiving. That's right, yeah. But there'll be games on Sunday. I forgot to check when the who the Bears are playing and what time. Did that bus didn't quit on you yesterday? Oh, no, no, it was good. Just slow, right? Yeah. This one's a little slow going up uh, James McKevitt Road West from Shawville Gate. Um, but it's beautiful otherwise. Yeah, not Shawnee, Shawnee Gate. Um, yeah, no, otherwise this is so nice. Wow. Is it on the background? Okay, yeah. See what's happening. Yeah. You getting off at Walmart? Yeah. I've been on for about two hours now. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow. It is a nice day, so everyone's out. Yeah, that's right. Partially to do with the weather, that's it. It's gonna be like this for the next week or so. Uh, two weeks. Um, it'll be around the 15th or the 16th of December. We're gonna, just the one day, we're gonna get one to three centimeters of snow and about a 40 kilometer an hour wind. But the next day it'll be minus five with sunshine. So it's just the one day. Up until then it'll be around 
starting on Thursday, December the 10th, be around minus two, minus three with sunshine every day. Man, I was listening to the Jimmies yesterday just for fun. Them GMCs, I see why they're good bus the motors in that thing. Yeah. Man, pretty special. Yeah, they really were. Have you driven 1059? That one's on YouTube. Uh, yeah, sure did. Yeah, 80,000 series. 900 series. 800, 700, yeah. 1059, I remember that one. Okay, you take care. We'll see you whenever. Okay. Bye, Cliff. Yeah, you're very welcome. Have I thought I would give that can to Cliff. Right? Oh, yeah, that we I'm found. Glad you did, yeah. The doors almost squished that poor little fella. Yeah. Open the door. <laughs> Sometimes they close a little bit quicker. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, those buses, oh, in 7857. They all had to retire due to fire damages. That's right. The engine caught fire a couple years ago on some of them. Okay, yeah. Like pouring out black smoke. Yeah. That doesn't happen too often, No, right? not too often. But when it does, you know it's bad. That's right. But I mean, there's computers in this thing, right? Oh, that's right. So this bus is good, eh? Yeah. Beaut it's a beaut. Yeah. Great condition. Oh, I like that music they're playing from India. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're not playing the music from India, okay? You always talk about buses. It's not music from India you're in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You've driven 1046. Two, I am yeah, I sure have. But that's a um, not the white one. That's a blue one. That's right. Three speed automatic. In other words, you got a stick shift or a little black ball, and you the black ball you in your hand, and you you shift gears. When you take off, you shift into first gear if you want to. Did the Jimmies ever catch fire sometimes? On a rare occasion, we had a couple. Yeah. Not very many, but on a rare occasion. Why? Just the engine hot? No, no, just mechanical problems, uh, electrical problems usually. Over the years, wiring. Yeah, and them diesel Detroit's are road hard, eh? Yeah. Guess what I got to see on the internet yesterday. What did you see? One say? of the YouTubers. One of the really old 76, 7603. Oh yeah. Old uh, one. 7603. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that. And guess what? The guy who likes the U2 strings, he's uploading a U2 video tomorrow. Okay. I'll take any U2 videos that I can get, no matter if I film one or see one now. Right. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much. Beautiful day. Yeah, it is. So I managed to stop before I came to work and picked up some lottery tickets for tomorrow night. And you know where I bought them? The address is 649. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it? Model 649? Maybe that's your lucky number. Well, I stop in there periodically. That's the address of the store. 649 to Drive, so far. The owner was actually there beside me. They right near me, and I didn't know that. But I said to the cashier, look at the address. That's why I come here. I said, it's 649 to Drive. And the owner was there. She looked at me and she said, I've owned this 
49. The other 12 today is a 77. Oh, okay. 7707. Have you driven that one? Oh, which one? 7707. Oh, yes. Uh, 77, yeah, I have actually. I like the number 7. I remember that one actually. What did you guys get up to last night? Uh, what was that again last what? night? Yeah. Um, let's see. I didn't play soccer. Went home. I always watch some news while I'm eating. And then, uh, well, my grandson was there. He was in town. Yeah, so, uh, I played with him a little bit before I sat down. So how long is Cliff staying with you? Uh, let's see, just probably till Saturday. So, tomorrow? Uh, yeah, most likely. If somebody's going back, if not Sunday. When somebody, either my daughter-in-law comes in or uh, my wife goes out. One of the two. He'll be back out at the end of the month. That's right. Yep, sure will. Gives him a nice break from the basement. You can't really do much there. Uh, no, it's actually not bad. It's not developed, but uh, it's okay. It's just a place to stay, uh, so he's not on the street. And uh, it really helps him out, actually. And then he's only about a 20-minute walk or so from a lot of stores. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. You were right on... You were a little early today. Uh, but, Just by a tad. Yeah, that's right. Because it pulled in and it was 155. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Is this bus as slow as yesterday's? Uh, no. No, this one's better. Um, I don't need a lot of speed on this route. But it pick up is just... Yeah, we're so slightly a little sore, but I like, but other than that, it's not a big deal. 70, 787 had good pickup. Yeah. Other than that, this one's nice. The brakes are beautiful. I've seen it really comfortable for the day. The steering is great. Visibility is good. I don't have that door, which I appreciate out here. So this is just great. It's a beautiful day. Roads are good. What's happening here? What's that? Here. Well, I stopped once already. Oh, sorry. I thought it stopped. Yeah, no. I actually, uh, yeah, that's why I was looking at you and I was wondering. Okay, thanks. Yeah, no, you're very welcome. You take, just be careful stepping down. That was kind of odd. I didn't sit long, but I did sit for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. And he just sat there, he never made a move towards the door. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Your turn signal is a lot quieter on this one. You can't hear it actually. When you mentioned that I looked down, it was on, but you can't hear it at all. Yeah. Which is okay. It's better when you can hear it actually, but that's okay. And the uh, GTS is really quiet too. It's just perfect. I can just barely hear it from here. Everything's great about this bus. It's beautiful. I got on 7955 yesterday. Okay. You probably driven that one. I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's right. I've seen it on, uh, was it the 11 or the, yeah, the 11 I think. But, uh, yeah. Yesterday? Uh, no, not yesterday. Yesterday I took it on 37. Right. Yeah, no, not yesterday, but uh, a while back, a few weeks ago. And the driver told me another bus broke down a couple weeks ago. Yeah, right. Yeah, on 37, the other bus broke down. Yeah. So he was the only bus on 37. Right. And then the other... Go the other guy had to wait an hour for his other bus. Yeah, right. Yeah, that will happen across the city very 
This this whole VP thing is really really stupid, eh? Oh uh, yeah. Like VP is nice, but it's stupid they're not using Anderson. Well, yeah. I mean, if they were like uh if you don't want to use the whole grass, leave half of the grass open. Yeah. Store half the buses in there. It would be different if they had a, a, a new garage to replace Anderson, but they don't. That's the weird thing. You can go up to Silverado, leave your buses in there. Yeah. And to the best of my knowledge, they're not renovating Anderson for the trains. They're not doing anything there. So, yeah, they could, they could be using it. This is ever so slightly slow, but it's not bad. No, no. No, it's nice, actually. I mean, some little thing like that, my goodness, no. I'll take it. Can Just... fill the tranny a little bit. You can tell it's older. That's right. In fact, it's a 2005. Yeah, what month? Uh, March. Oh, so it's not like 7940. No. No, March 2005, so... Uh... What? Next March will be 16 years. Yeah. But, uh, no, you're right. You can just barely on the transmission, slightly, a little bit of wear. And, uh, they'll and rebuild it a couple more times. Yeah. But boy, I tell you, I'm thankful out of, out of, on the fleet, I could have done a lot worse. This is so nice to drive. Once I see the comfortable. What if you got a 7500 today? Oh, don't, don't go say that. That's not nice. I'm teasing you. Oh, say you are, yeah. Don't ever That must be an accordion. It's down here. Maybe it's a rush hour bus. Oh, just to get those and it'd be minus 20 Celsius. Oh, man. Not good. I remember parking it at uh, Bridlewood Station and going back and touching the seats back there where you're sitting and those seats were so cold. Oh, the 75s? Yeah, and I had the heaters on full blast for hours and the seats were, it wasn't pushing any heat. Oh, it was terrible. So when passengers get on, they sit down on a cold plastic seat. Oh my goodness. No, those 7500s, wow. What if I gave you one on Monday? I had a magic power. Yeah. Well, you would not be happy with me. Well, actually I would, because if you got magic power, I'd just ask you for the lottery numbers. <laughs> no, this is a good day. I'm enjoying this. I knew when it pulled in, I thought, man, this looks like a good bus. I said there was nothing wrong with it. And I took over and I had two cool cushions. So I looked back and there was a couple of shuttle buses behind me. I ran back and one of the drivers gave me one. And that was just what I needed. Seated comfortably. Yeah, you would not be happy if I gave you the 75, eh? How about a 76? You could put up with that. Yeah. Yeah, they were, how would you say, not as good as the 7700s or 7800, but, but they're better. The better. A lot on takeoff, right? You can notice it. Yeah. 37, there's a 77. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm very thankful to have this bus today. This is great. It just makes my... Since 7715 is retired, I might take a picture of it and link up some audio. Yeah. Since, um, they run on a lot of the same engines. That's right. Have you driven 8012 before? Mm, yeah, actually, I do remember that bus. I, I remember it once. I might have driven it more than once, but I drove it once for sure. Nice. That's a 
Calgary drivers for you. Have you driven this once before? Uh, yeah, I believe I have. When you get down to these lower ones, um, I've got to stop and think about it because I haven't driven too many of the lower ones. I believe I've had this at least once before. You know what would be nice if they moved 7900 to VP? Oh, uh, yeah. They probably are still around. They would have to be. Oh yeah, yeah. Sure because the 79s are all where 15 years old, even our older ones. Like our, like 7900s only what, 15 years old, right? That's right. They want to get 20 years out of that one. Yes, that's right. And you know them really old 79s? Like, I mean old, old? Right. They're in great shape. And yes, they are. Do they have leather seats like this one? Uh, yes. To the best of my knowledge, they do. Yeah, that's right. They have different lighting and stuff, though. Yeah. And their motor's quite a bit noisier. Right. I like a noisy bus. Eh? It gives it a lot of character. Um, yeah, except late at night, like 9, 10 o'clock at night, you're going through a residential area. Hey, with a jimmy, right? Like, do you remember doing that with a jimmy? Uh, yeah, I sure do. Yeah. And, like, and like, the neighbors were probably like, what the hell is that? Yeah, yeah well, it's not too good late at night when it's quiet on the street going through a residential area this thing's making so much noise are the jimmy jimmies are probably godly noisy now uh could be i haven't driven a jimmy for so long when's the last one you driven oh boy oh man i'd have to think about that but you're welcome the mcis came in in around 1990 so I started getting MCIs, the Jimmies were still around. Um, Quite a few of them were. Yeah, I, uh, I started driving the 7500s right around 1996 out of Anderson. Uh, they were slowly phasing the Jimmies out then. So probably the last Jimmy would have been around 99, right around 99. Did you get, um... Are your 76s in Anderson, too? Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. How were the takeoff on them? A lot better? There we are. You're very welcome. You take care. Um, yeah, they were better than the 7500s. Not as good as the 7700. I wanted to tell you ask you did they ever put them on route 12 the 76s when you came oh, out yeah, absolutely yes when we first got them they 7600s have been driven across the north end of the city for quite a while yeah and that's when we had the 7700s and they were just the most amazing looking things i've ever seen they were so yeah. you well, must have been very thankful for that uh, actually i was even though they weren't that great, they were a lot better than... Decent, you know, in some way. Yeah. They had Detroit's in them, didn't they? Um, yeah, they did. Man, they were annoying. But I like a good old Detroit. I always did. Yeah. Yeah, I remember those 7600s because I was taking them back to the garage, but I was getting... I was taking over on the road. Like, oh, do you know if Calgary bought 7,700? Um, yeah. Well, what's that again? 7,700. They're 7,800, 79, 8,000. What about them? Do you know if Calgary has 7,700? I believe so. I thought I had seen it around. 
It probably sitting at Anderson right um, now. That, that could be. I, I'm not sure. It's just been That's so long. Uh, the 7700s have been around for so long. I hope they uh, give you a different variety of buses in December, right? Like yeah. you get 7801 or something. Right. That would be great. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I don't have any O2 New Flyer 78s. Right. Don't get me wrong, I love a good old 79, but you want to switch it up once in a while. Right. But the schedules are changing on the 21st, so... Because of the start of the new sign-up. Right. So maybe that'll be good, right? They'll put... And like the 04s, I don't have an 04 yet. Yeah, right. It's been a while since you've driven an 04, I imagine. Like 7 D870, something like that. What's that again? 7870? Yeah, it's probably been a while since you've driven those. Oh, by 04, you mean 2004? Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, 7870? Anything in there? Yeah, no, not that long. Probably just a year or two. I love that noisy 7800, too. Yeah. They remind me a lot of the 77s. Right. Well, I'm thankful to have this kind of weather with good roads. Are they still saying 17 on Monday? What's that? Are they still saying 17 on Monday? Oh, no. Uh, they changed it. it. It looks like they're saying more around... Um, oh, let's see. I looked, actually. I was surprised. They were 11. They were saying 11. Uh, that's on the Weather Channel. I didn't hear 660 on this radio. So we'll see. But they're saying 11 now, according to the Weather Channel. Nice, but not 17. We were damn close yesterday. Very much, and then it hit 15. It did, yeah. What bus took you home yesterday? Oh, uh, funny you should ask. I uh, pulled into Shaughnessy Station. I hit a few lights after I left Bridalwood Station to go down to Shaughnessy, and I managed to get in around. Oh, five or so, and the 15 was still there at Shaughnessy Station, so I tapped the horn and waved at him, and he waited for me. So instead of the 11, I caught the 15 home, I saved 10 minutes. Good. Oh, man, I'm surprised you want to take that bouncy old shuttle bus. Well, I'm not on it for very long, so it's not too bad. And the roads aren't too bad going from Shaughnessy Station up to my place. They're not that bad. Doesn't he leave at 04, doesn't he? He's new to leave at 04, but it's so quiet in the evening, he can leave a few minutes later. But if there's no one, if there's no one around, right? Like, if there's no one around, exactly. or running for the bus, then yeah. he just goes on time. That's right. Oh, so you got a shuttle, eh? I got a shuttle bus, yeah. Wow. So it makes it different because I, instead of walking in the door... You're home at 8.20. Right. And so then, uh, instead of, yeah, instead of walking in the door at 8.30, I'm sitting down to eat. Did uh, Cliff hop on the 15 with you? No, I drop him off because I go right by my place, so I drop him off before I go down to Bradley Station. Yeah. And then he just, did, did he walk to Shaughnessy? What? Did he walk the Shaughnessy? Yeah, does he catch the 11 with you sometimes? Uh, yeah, when he, when he, well, he used to, uh, ride right around in the summer because we'd look for bottles. 
But now that it's cooler, people aren't drinking as much. He, uh, I just drop him off before I get to Bradenwood Station, and then I run over to Shaughnessy and catch my bus home. Yeah. I feel like these buses sometimes, eh? A little hard to start this morning, but I got going. Right. So what do you want for Christmas? I'm... We've been looking for that Lazy Boy. Oh, yeah. Lazy Boy and shit. It's something I would use, too, right? Well, you shouldn't have a Lazy Boy. You should get a boy that's going to help you work hard. Right? <laughs> you do not know what a lazy boy chair is. It's like a reclining seat. Yeah. Good to see you. Me too. So I'll see you next week, will I? Yeah, you will. Oh, good. I'm gonna get the try to get those cards ready this weekend. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get those cards ready. This weekend. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for those tickets. I keep checking them still, but uh, I'm not paying much in return, so I'm just going to stick with four tickets I bought. I just bought ten. Yeah, that's funny how I do things. I don't like to do anything just randomly. I don't have a reason if I'm going to do something. So I was going to buy 24 Western 649s and four extra numbers, but uh, I decided to uh, get... Uh, 36 Westerns and 6 Westerns, 649. So my total was $42. The reason I did that, Elvis passed away and his age was 42. Like, does that make sense? That's funny how I do that. Because, well, you never know when you do something or not. You never know. Um, but the place I went to, I was telling Ethan that uh, when I bought my tickets, I went into uh, the Circle K and she went and drive and Shaughnessy uh, Boulevard. And get this, I'm um, uh, buying my tickets and, and the cashier says he wants a receipt. And uh, I take the receipt for a couple of reasons, especially there. Um, one reason is in case I might think I've got it, I can just show it to, you know, and it's nice, you've got the exact address, everything, postal code and everything on the receipt. So, uh, but the other reason that I'm there is uh, I didn't realize the owner of the store was standing about 10 feet to my left. And I said to the cashier, do you know what the address is here? And he kind of looked at me, I said, the address is 649, you want to get drive. Right, 649. The owner that I didn't know was standing there, she just looked at me and she said, you know, I've owned this store since 1997, and I didn't know that. <laughs> that is funny. I think I was telling you that when I went big, I was going to go down to uh, just east of Blackwood Trail and Heritage Drive. They, they fill that particular Cadillac dealership as the largest one in North America. I don't know if it is, but it's really nice, over 15,000 square feet. On one of the floors, I think it's three stories, it might even be bigger, but they bought some Cadillacs on one of the floors, a bunch of old Cadillacs from the 60s and stuff. Yes, it was. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm going to buy when I went big. And, and of course, the address the 649 Heritage Drive Southeast. Because I was looking on the internet, I was I was just making a couple of phone calls as to whether or not I could buy a, a uh, Cadillac on my credit card. And they don't actually do that. But she, it took her five minutes when I asked her. I caught her off guard because nobody's ever asked that question. So she had to ask somebody, then had to ask somebody else, then had to ask somebody else. It took like five minutes, I waited. And uh, the answer they gave me was they, they think that they could work something out. That's the way they put it. So, but I win, we'll, we'll see. So that's kind of neat. All these little things, kind of quirky, but little things. Like, I, I think what I'll do is uh, I'm going to ask for a... Uh, Literally, because Elvis, and that's funny, and uh, I mean, I like everyone. 
back of the driver. So be a serious down payment on a on a house. Okay. Did you see it or not? In yeah. 1960, actually. No, not there. Over there, like, honey. Oh, yeah. Look at the I see you over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. not much more. The bus is pretty much picture perfect. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. And the one yesterday was. See, I've got it for so it's a little bit. Then you feel it. But just slightly. But that's not a big deal. Okay, you feel it. 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 Okay, Seventy seven fifty eight. I said we had the quad, but yeah. Oil leak. Uh, well, it wasn't giving me problems per se. No lights came on or nothing. It was just the driver mentioned it before me, and there was a couple of spots. It wasn't serious. Oh, but if it was leaking good, you would have gotten an alarm. Uh, yeah, that's right. But it wasn't. Uh, it didn't give me any problems. It's just. Things like that you got to keep an eye on. I just let the uh, diesel side know what's going on so they can keep an eye on it. Diesel side is so busy though fixing buses. They don't do anything about little leaks like that until 
it actually is a bigger problem. Or if the bus suddenly quits, right? right. There's something wrong with the yeah. engine. Guess what I found on the internet yesterday? What's that? First 8200 series. Oh, okay, wow. Nova bus. Yeah, right. Wow. Isn't that special? Is that still around, isn't it? It's, it's a Nova bus, 2011-2012, yeah. Right. Yeah, that would only be what, eight years old? Uh, yeah, that's right. It's a Nova, though. Yeah, that's it. It's one of the old Novas, it's not the CNG. Right. Oh, the police are there on my left. They're doing, uh, radar. What? The police on the left, they're doing radar. Do you see them? Yeah. Good for them. I'm glad to see it. The speakers on uh the speakers are perfect on this. Yeah they are. Everything's good about this bus. I'm really enjoying this. The sun is shining, the roads are good, the bus is great, it's Friday, got some tickets for tomorrow night, we're looking so good. I gotta try and roll some change. Is Cliff going back in the afternoon or the morning? Uh, I didn't understand your question. Is Cliff going back in the morning or afternoon? Well, there's no time. Just whenever somebody's coming in or somebody's going out. Yeah. We don't have a time frame. And if nobody's coming in or going out on Saturday, then it's Sunday. We just play it by ear. He's retired, so it doesn't matter. It's not like he's in a hurry. When did he retire? Where? Oh gosh, you'd have to ask him, but it was years ago. Um, it's got to be 20-some years ago. He used to cut lawns. Just a lot of wear and tear, I guess. Wear and tear? Yeah, just... On, on what? Uh, on him, he didn't feel like doing it anymore. No, no, it's not that. He has a disability and you get yeah. over it. Yeah. It's just not so easy anymore because he was cutting lawns. He had a bicycle. He'd take all his tools down. There was a place he was working at, cutting the grass and everything. Give him a lawn more and stuff. That's right. He could do the riding more. Uh, yeah, he has to be careful. He's blind to one eye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would really not. No. Yeah. Boy, they run up to the corner and they don't want to drive. This bus doesn't rattle too much. No, no, it doesn't. It's not that. You're right on time today. Pretty well. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Pretty close. See you, George. Yeah, you take care, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome.
That door is... Yeah, it's not, it's a little too fast. I might have to mention it to the driver if I can remember when they take hold of Beautiful motor though. So sometimes when the Jimmy's catch fire, it was it always re electrical or something else? I don't know. Just electrical sometimes, or? Well, I, I have no, no way of knowing. You just hear that this happened or that happened to a bus, and I just don't know. Yeah. You hear that there was a fire or something. But I don't, I never hear the reason for it. Oh, when you run out of, when you run out of diesel, that must have been not fun at all. Right, when you ran out of diesel? Oh, uh, yeah, that out. was interesting. That never only happened the once to me. I barely cruised through the intersection. That was like 13th Avenue and 8th Street, so... The that's... mechanics gotta know they gotta fill up the bus. Well, there's no gauge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if they forget. Hi. Hi. Transfer Yes. Don't worry. Here we are. Thanks so it much. It is a Jimmy, though, so. Transfer Can I put this here? This is like the. Other than the garbage. That was great. Thank you. You're one of the ones that remembered. Some people put that in there as a ticket. George, I was hot as fire once. Had a fever of 115. Oh, okay. 115, my fever was once. Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's hot. Yeah. Too hot. My dad had to put me in the tub, eh? Yeah, you were sick. Yeah. Without touching me, going towards me, he could feel the heat off me. Whoa. That's how hard I was. I might be back on later, it depends. Okay. Guess what Gary uh, has today? What? 7988. Oh, okay. On the 11? Yeah. Okay. You driven that one? Oh, that one I am not sure. To be quite honest with you, I don't recall. You driven 86? Oh, yeah, yeah. 85, yeah. 81, and 89. Those are all buses I've took, uh, been on with you. Yeah, that's right. So we'll see you on Monday, too? Pardon? We'll see you on Monday? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to ask you how your weekend is. Watch some football. The Bears are playing. They better win. They don't win this game, that's it. Their season is more or less over. You're not going to make it in at 10 and 7. Uh, 10 and 7 would be really, really border, seriously borderline. It would depend on the other teams at that point. Yeah. But you're borderline. Ten and six you kinda have to get in. They were well you gotta have approximately twelve games. So ten is like I said, borderline. Um last year they were eight eight what is there? Uh sixteen games in the NFL or is there uh, yeah, sixteen I think. Or is it eighteen? I think 17. Uh, no, it's... No, how many games total does each team play? Is it 18 games? 
Ah, uh, might be. The Bears were eight, eight and ten maybe last year, and they didn't make the playoffs for eight wins. That's not good enough. They're pretty much done if they don't win here. Oh uh, yeah, that's that you're yeah. Really they are. Very more or less. We must be getting close to rush hour here. Well uh, let's see, it's good o'clock. Uh yeah. Schools, I don't have to deal with schools anymore really. Um it's just uh the traffic. Boy do I notice it though. Like right about now, you're right, rush hour's just starting to kick in. January you might though a little bit. Have to deal with the school. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That lockdown. The premier is saying he may extend it if all doesn't go well. So we'll see what happens. Well, I don't know if the uh, schools will be like the high schools if they're doing exams when they go back. If they're doing exams, then they just go in, write the exam, and go home. So I don't see very many students. But if they put them all back in school, yeah, I'll see a few then. Quite a few, yeah. Um, well, it depends on the hours. The lo You normally would get a load at 4.30, but you don't anymore. No. Thank you so much. Thank you. Centennial uh, High School, that's the one I do go by, but their hours are such that I don't see anybody Monday to Thursday. Only you get a big load on Friday sometimes. Not really, no. No, of them. Like, one day you did when I was on with oh, okay. you. I know from Centennial, a lot of them take the room 15. But if they can't Catch it, they take you. Uh, yeah, that's right. But I just, I only get a handful, even on a Friday. I only get maybe uh, eight or ten. But every now and again, you get like that 15 or 20 people, Mar. Where are you headed to today? Okay, sounds good. That's the next um, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll take you down there. Thank you. Oh, my God, that's so nice. When's the last time you've driven this bus? Oh, man, I do not get something this low in the 7900s very often. It's, uh, oh, it would be a while, really. Uh, most of the buses that I get, I was telling you before the other day, it's 7960s and the 7970s. And then a few 80s here and there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 7980. I've had that quite a number of times. But I'll see a right now on the 12. If I do get a 7900, generally speaking, it's in the 60s and 70s or 7900. I got, I got like, what, 380s with you? Yeah. 380s. Yeah, that's right. You took me on 89, 81, and 85. Yeah. I remember, gosh, that would be 15 years ago. I uh, had 7980 on the road. I took over on the road, and it was beautiful. Brilliant. Is that an 07, if I ask? What? Is that a 2007 if I ask? Oh, I don't, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, but anyway, you can continue. Yeah, what I was going to say is, I took it over on the road, it was beautiful. I really enjoyed driving at 7980, and approximately six months later, um, I went in the garage to go to work for the afternoon. I had to pull the bus out of the garage, and uh, I... Um, I went down and I took over my bus I had and in front of me the driver wasn't there yet. I'd already set up my bus, I wanted to get out of the garage. A 7980 was in front of me. And I thought, wow, 7980, last time I drove it six months ago was beautiful. And so I ran upstairs and I said, look, I want to get out of the garage. Um, 7980 is in front of me, there's nobody there, can I have that bus? And she didn't like that, but she just had to change the number in the book. 
so then she begrudgingly said, yeah, yeah, you can take it, I know, you want it just because it's a better bus. And I ran down to set it up, and when I pulled out the garage, she was terrible. Oh, not good. Ah, the brakes weren't good. Um, it was noisy. It, was, it just hadn't done any work to it. I don't know why it was like that, but it was What bad. bus did you have originally? I can't remember now. Uh, it was like... That was, uh, oh gosh, I believe that was a 7600. So no wonder you wanted a 79. Yeah. But you regret taking that bus that day? No, 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 no. It was a bus that, you know, in six months, that's what happened. It just went downhill so quickly. I couldn't believe it. It's probably nice now. Uh, yeah, I just, I just need to do some work to these buses sometimes. I don't know why, what happened to it. But in six months. But the driver was late, so... Yeah, that's right, but the bus itself, six months later, here it is, same bus. Yeah. It's just it's not good at all. Both brakes were terrible. So you would rather drive a 7500 that day than that one? Uh, like I say, it was okay. 7922, you've driven that one. Uh, yeah, I yeah, have, yeah. You just take what you get, go through the day. And if you get a good bus like today, and everything comes together. So be it, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're a little slow on takeoff, but then again, it's good at the same time. Right, that's right. Like when it gets going. Yeah, it's like 77.83. Once that bus gets going, you're fine. Right. Well, when a bus gets older, you can't expect it to be 100% perfect. So, and that's really nothing. 87 is picture perfect, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it. You know, you never know when the mechanics are going to overhaul the bus. They just overhauled that one, that 87 no, that you got. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one's gonna get rebuilt soon. Oh yeah. That was nice today though, man. I'm thankful to have this one. I love it when I get comfortable. What if you had 7928? Oh yeah, 7920, I've actually yeah. had that bus. Is it is that even around anymore or no? I don't know, I haven't had it for a while. It's probably at Anderson. I haven't had it for years, I don't know. It's probably at Anderson, I bet you any money. No, I'm broke, I can't bet any money at all. <laughs> you have enough money to buy lottery tickets. Well, not really, I'm using my credit card. Pay it back sometime next year. I only owe $18 on my credit card though. So $14 is nothing. Or $42 is nothing. Imagine, imagine if you got this nice bus today and you got $75.28 the next day. Yeah, right. You would not be happy. I find the brakes are touchy on some of the buses sometimes. Yeah, this one is a hundred percent. No squealing. When I touch it, just as I touch it, the brakes respond just the way they should. Maybe just a tad bit of swell, but that happens over time, right? Yeah. Well, on this one, the brakes are perfect. 7787, the brakes on that were fantastic. Uh, yeah. 41 was good too, 7841. Yeah, they both were, you're right. They were really nice. And this one, I'm very fortunate to. Uh, I bet you you would love to have that box again. I'm not accelerating, I'm not touching anything. It's just so quiet, and it just, look at that. And look how I. Check that out. Thank you. All right. You're very welcome. Hello. Beautiful stuff. Was 178 running when you went to work? Uh, I 
wrong well it's running every day for rush hour only if it has a one in front of it like a 178 then it's a rush hour bus only but that sign still is from last spring when they cut it because like when i got up it wasn't running this morning just what, like rush hour this morning or what time uh, or like at uh, like noon i got up well no i was telling you it's a rush hour yeah. bus only yeah and then walden legacy is too noon isn't rush hour yeah well, yeah. If it has a one in front of it, it's a rush hour bus only. Yeah. Rush, morning and afternoon. Yes. <laughs> so it's like with some of the 14s that are waiting to go into service right now. Right. Are the rush hour buses. Uh, yeah. Have you driven Walden Legacy before or no? Oh, give me a second. What's the number of that route? 167, then there's 168. Aren't those only double buses? No, no big bus. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I haven't then. Yeah, no, they wouldn't put a shuttle bus on that route because it's a rush hour bus, right? Yeah, but it's not very busy. No. Wow. But they have to just to be smart, right? If the train ever broke down and all the riders were Walden Legacy, right? Uh, they would have to keep a big bus on. Well, yeah, it's just that uh, Legacy is so far out. Yeah. They, a lot of people have vehicles. A lot. Yes. A lot of garages is there too oh, if you're right. 8023. It must be the uh, 444 then that's a shuttle bus. Yes, that's the one. Right. That's a shuttle all, all year round. That's funny how on the 178 it has a one in front of it indicating rush hour. But on the 14, you don't put a one in front of it. They just pull a 14 out for rush hour, but it doesn't have a one in front of it. We're getting off here. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ethan. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. You're welcome. You're very really welcome. Thank, th thank you. Oh, oh the ramp needs some oil. I'll see you later, maybe. It depends. Okay, possibly. But if, but if. But if, but if I don't see you, have a good, uh, yeah. A good weekend, right? Yeah, weekend. And you too. And hey. We'll, we'll talk to you on Monday? Yeah. Okay. Sounds I might good. decide to come for another ride. Who knows? Okay. Well, if you go, you watch the Bears game. Yeah. You want to see how they do. You'll be empty if they lose. Get it? Empty. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Bye. Oh, but, yeah, I don't have no money. Get oh. by. <laughs> that means you're empty. You got no cash. <laughs> Bye. Oh,